Is something wrong? <laughs> it's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress, but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. The strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. But I... I... Huh. Unburst! Strength of heart is huh? important, but that's not all you need. Huh? There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Nothing, my dear? Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Oh, but I do. It's just no use. <laughs> Nonsense. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are. But we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Oh, yes. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! It's a dream come true. Yes, but like all dreams, I'm afraid this can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. was full of light. Why didn't I see it? What did you do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Tara. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you'll know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. Not here, too. I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um. All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. Oh, 
Thank you, um... Tara. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> Maybe just believing is enough. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the Prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. Unversed. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? Um, well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. Saved us all. <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. Well, don't give up just yet. <gasps> Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No. I believe uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Well, um, no. I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Oh, my goodness. It's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Goodbye. Wait, come back. Please come back. I'm sorry. Senorita, uh, wait! Hmm? Hmm? Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. 
The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. Hmm? You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. The boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? He'll be all right. He won't give in to it. Who are those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine. I'd better pay her a visit. You honor our humble home, my lord. <clears throat> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! Wait. It's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe that dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join little Jacques and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Jacques. Come back and see me when you're ready. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Are you okay? Linda Belly, step muddy like a rinna run! Gotta let her roll! Gotta save Linda Belly! Oh. Let me help you. Ah, oh, that's it! Oh, that's how I bend it! Do you ever meet a Ben? Uh, I'm Aqua, but tell me how you know about Ben. And where is he now? Look up a friend. I love friend. I see. Then, 
You must have just missed Tara. I can't understand why. It always fit perfectly before. Quite enough of this. The next young lady, please. Oh no! Hear that? Not a flurry! Brenda really gotta try that flipper! Come on, come on, flurry! All right, leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. <laughs> You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on, hurry, Jack. <sighs> All right, if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. You should let her go first. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. <laughs> what will I do? Please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair! She's a scullery maid! Mother! Are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. What happened? Where is Cinderella? She, she was attacked by a, a creature, a, a monster in the forest. A monster? This is what happens when you go against my wishes. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. Go.
pure heart filled with light? It's strange. The master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how, if not with light? Oh, my dear, you're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. Master Yen Sid. My name is Terra. Yes, Ericus's pupil. I've been expecting you. It is the unversed. Yes, Master Yen Sid. I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. I am no longer a master. I doffed that mantle. But sir, wasn't that your pupil I passed on the way in? He had a keyblade. You refer to Mickey. He too sought guidance here. As a king, he is good and kind. But the weight of a crown has not cured him of impetuousness. He has left with an object whose power he does not understand nor know how to control. Mickey imagines my Star Shard will be of help in his current quest, and like you, he is eager to use his Keyblade to set things right. I'm not sure I even understand what's wrong. Master Xehanort is missing. And now I've learned, there's a masked boy who is controlling those unversed on the loose. To arrive at the truth, perhaps you should approach things differently. First, consider them one and the same problem. Master Xehanort and the Unversed are connected somehow? I must not make assumptions. Find Xehanort, Terra. That is where you should begin. Yes, sir. I had hoped, Xehanort, your heart would no longer lead you astray. Kara! <laughs> Master Xehanort! Kara! Come see me at once! Master Xehanort. I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand why. Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now, the one in the mask. His name is Vanitas, a creature of pure darkness, one of my making. Vanitas? Are you telling me he came from you? 
It came from Ventus. <laughs> Ventus? Yes. Venetus is the darkness that was inside your friend. <sighs> there was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness, and there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Venetus was made. In the process, I damaged Ventus' heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Heracus. I knew the boy could not stay with me, the man who did him such grievous harm. Master Xehanort. Ventus has gotten a lot better since then. You shouldn't blame yourself for trying to save him. Well, thank you, lad. You know how to put an old man's heart at ease. So that's what it was. I'll go see. I'm Tara. What's your name? Ventus. Whew. You can talk. Aqua, come here! <laughs> So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? You good with a keyblade? Whoa! What's the matter? Are you okay? What did you do? Nothing! I... I just asked him some stuff. Ventus cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Huh? Master, why is Venita still free? Ah, yes. Well, I did my best to contain him the moment he emerged, but... He managed to escape. Hmm. Venetus uses the Keyblade to sow seeds of darkness. And now you see the world's team with his ghastly underlings. The Unversed. He has no control over the darkness in his heart. The Keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Lend me your strength, Terra. Right this wrong that I have wrought. But I have no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Venetus amounts to this. His darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt, and then destroy. <laughs> it stands to reason that he will strike next in the City of Light, Radiant Garden. Don't worry, Master. I'll take care of Venetus. <laughs> <laughs> 